Hey coders and welcome to episode 2 of our script service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about the onOpen trigger. So the method onOpen will fire when a user opens a Google file. So those files can be different depending on whether this is set up as a simple trigger or an installable trigger. For simple triggers those files include sheets, slides, docs, and forms. If it's set up as an installable trigger, however, you don't get the slides, you just get the sheets, docs, and forms. So the syntax though is exactly the same, it's on open, and then there's an optional parameter, E. So let's look at both, let's look at two examples, one from a simple trigger and one from an installable trigger in the code right now. Let's showcase the onOpen method first as a simple trigger. So again, simple triggers are run from a bounded script. They have to be bounded to some container. Again, it doesn't have to be a spreadsheet. It could be something like a slides or documents or form. But since we're familiar with a spreadsheet, let's just use spreadsheet for now. And again, so simple triggers, they are reserved function names. So if we want to do onOpen, we have to type in on open exactly like this. It has to be capitalized O, lowercase o in the beginning, and it has to be named, again, on open. You can't name a custom function like this because this is a reserved function name. So now that we have this, let's just write something simple like spreadsheet, oops, spreadsheet app dot get UI dot, let's see, alert. So let's say an alert and before we do that, actually let us look at this optional parameter. So again, if you remember, we have an optional parameter at our, at our disposal. So this, uh, this, whenever this function runs, it's going to send data through, and we're going to capture that data now through this event parameter. And we'll probably go more into what, what, what data we can use, but let's just use, say, auth mode for now, just so that we can see that we're indeed capturing data. So it's going to now open, when we open this spreadsheet, we're going to get an alert and it's going to tell us what auth mode we're using. Great, so now if we save it, we don't have to run this function because now it's saved and again, this is a reserved function name. So if we go back to our container and then we open it, so we can just refresh it for now because that's similar to opening it. And if I have edit access, which I do because I created it, but now I should see this new pop-up. So this is, again, this wasn't run by me manually. This was totally run automatically. And I get now this, this auth mode, which says limited. Again, we're gonna go into what that means later down, but just to see that it's working, now anybody who has edit access to this container, this spreadsheet, will get this pop-up and they won't have to click any run button or anything. It's totally automatic. Great, so that is on open from a from a bounded script, a simple trigger. Again, let's look, look at it one more time. Again, it needs to be named on open. This event parameter is optional, but then whenever a user opens a container like a spreadsheet, this, whatever is written inside here, even if we have multiple, multiple lines, whatever is written inside here is going to be run, it's going to be executed as soon as this spreadsheet opens up. So that's pretty remarkable. All right, so the same concept applies to standalone scripts and installable triggers. So with installable triggers, again, we have to access it through the script app. So here I have our same function uh, written down in, in lines five through seven, except for it's not named on open, it's named some whatever, whatever we want to name, it's so alert. And here's our event parameter again. And now we're going to get the trigger UID. And then we're just gonna say the ID of this trigger, which fired this. Great, so now let's set up our on open installable trigger. So again, this is a standalone script, it's not bounded to anything. Let's say script app dot, and then we'll say new trigger. And then the function name is going to be called alert because we want to fire this one down here. And then we'll say for spreadsheet, again, we can do documents, we can do forms, we can do spreadsheets, but since this is an installable trigger, we can't do slides anymore. That's just how Google set it up. So that's just what we'll, we'll just do a spreadsheet for now. So this key, we can, again, if you saw before, we could do it by URL or we could do it by key. Key basically just means the ID. So let's just grab that real quick. 
we'll hit copy, we'll hit quote quote, and then we'll hit paste. Great, so now we have our four spreadsheet. Let me drop this down a line. And then we want to now do the on open. So when it opens, then we're going to fire this function alert, and then we'll just finish it off with create. And we'll hit a semicolon. Great, so now if we hit save and set up trigger, it hit run. And if this is the first time you run it, you will have to authorize it because again, this is going to be running from your account. So you will just have to authorize it. I have already authorized this project for the spreadsheet app and stuff like that and triggers and stuff. But um, now this trigger is set up. And if we go back into our, our unbounded spreadsheet, if you will, and hit refresh, and it's working in the background, but since we opened it, now we get this pop-up. So that says the ID of the trigger which was fired was this very, very long complex number. And again, this is exactly what was in our alert function. So this is just another way of setting up an on open trigger. This is the installable way. And then this is right here, the simple way. So guys, you can do it either way. Uh, it's, just, it's just based on whatever project and the use case that you need at the time. There are advantages and disadvantages of both but they both work perfectly. And I hope you learned a lot from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.